The taxi was not owned by me, it was owned by the company. I can't tell you I didn't hear him, I can't tell you I hit him because uh, Mr. Clay on the side, and then you see Mr. Clay, it looks like he's crouched down or something, standing up. Sorry. And then at that point, Mr. Hugo is backing up again, and uh, Mr. Clay is walking up to the house. Sorry. That his reading level is not such where you had to read the it's PSI here. report for him. Yes. And yet they have him passing out medication. It, it's worse than that, Judge. They pay him nine dollars an mm -hmm. hour. All right. Court is calling. 2023 CR 7389 State of Texas versus Michael Ugui. Ugu. Ugu. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the State of Texas. Defense. Tony on this and what Mr. Ugu. And are you Mr. Ugu? Yes, ma'am. All right. You entered a plea of no contest to count one on January 22nd. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishments to be assessed at six years in the prison. The state is silent on your application, and there's to be restitution to Timothy Clay. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report, state? Yes, Judge. Defense? Yes, Judge. Any objections to the PSI report, state? No, Your Honor. Defense? Judge, not so much an objection, but a clarification. My understanding is that the, uh, well, the, the pre-sentence investigation report indicates different amounts for um, I guess claimed restitution. Uh, mm -hmm. I understand that um, that the victim has been contacted earlier today, and that that, that issue has been clarified, and that the restitution is about four thousand. Is that correct? I guess, Judge, it's the uh, four thousand two hundred ninety nine and forty three cents. Wait, four thousand and what? Two hundred ninety nine and forty three cents. It's on page four of the DSI, Judge. All right. So why is why do they have in here my medical bills are about thirty thousand dollars so judge i talked with the complainant there is a civil lawsuit that's currently pending uh against the taxi cab company i don't know what's exactly going on here Riga. and i don't want to make a judgment about who's right and who's wrong and i believe also the defendant is listed in that uh, i did tell the complainant that he would have an opportunity if he asked or if he needed more time to gather um any documentation of restitution that we would be able to give him that opportunity. If I requested a restitution hearing, uh, he decided that uh, the amount that was listed to the PSI, that $4,000 was sufficient. All right. All right. That is correct. If there is a pending a civil lawsuit in which Mr. Uli was sued, <laughs> sued as well as uh, Greater San Antonio Transportation Company and a third corporation. Uh, you want to make a federal case at it? Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. My name is Michael. Um, Last name? Ugo. All right, defense. Mr. Will you understand that the court is going to make a decision today on your application for deferred adjudication of community supervision? Is that right? Yes. Uh, you had indicated to me that you wanted to address the, the court prior to that decision. Is that right? Yes. What is it that you want the judge to know before making a decision in this case? Well, um, I want to be, um, ask the tell the judge that. Um, since I've been in the United States, I try to do anything that I know that is right to do. I try to do my job. I work. I work two jobs. I work three jobs. And then um, I never try to do uh, harm anybody. And I don't want to do that either. And uh, if you can give me a chance, I do never want to see come to this place anymore, not in my lifetime. Um, I don't wish to come back here in my lifetime around this building. All right, let's 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 get to what happened. Yes. That's where I'm at. Thank you, Jen. Um, on the night that this happened, do you, do, you do you recall the night that this incident happened? 
deny that this incident happened? Yes, I do. Okay. Can you tell the judge um, what, from beginning to end, if you can, what, when you first got a call to go pick up these, these people, um, the, the victim, uh, Timothy Clay, and I believe it was his mother, is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what, what was it like when you, just tell the court what happened when you picked them up? And where I, you picked them up from, if you recall? I was waiting on, on the gas station where we used to pick up the PTI people, which is the, uh, um, the people that drive the train. Those are the people that I usually pick up. I don't drive in the streets. And I got a call. I thought it was uh, the PTI. I clicked on it. And you can cancel it because you cancel it. There'll be a penalty for that. They take you out from the clock for one hour. You can walk. So I, I go try to go pick the, the people. When I get there, the, the mom, I was waiting for them. They didn't come. I tried to leave. And I called the phone and tell them that I'm about to leave. They said for me to wait that they are coming. And when I get there, I only have like 15 minutes to call them and start the clock. And I start the clock. Before they get there, it's already $3.50, which is the night shift. Because in the morning, it's $2.50. In the night, is three dollar fifty cents, and they said, "Why was the mirror three dollars and fifty cents?" I said, "I don't make the mirror. I don't have anything to do with the mirror. Mirror has been set by the company." What we've got here is failure to communicate, and then. The, the mother got inside the car and calling the son and never showed up. I was trying to tell the woman, if you can go ahead and leave so I can take the car and go back and stay so I don't lose my cue on the line. And the lady begged me, please, it's too cold. Let me let's have a, a patient for my son and i i waited there when the sun before the sun is gonna come the mirror is already seven dollars something we got on the on the the road driving on the road she, the mother said hey i don't have the money to pay for this it's already ten dollars i said ma'am i have no control how the meter go Mine is to drive. So when I get to the, the place, I stop the car and the mother got off. They called the, the son, he was sleeping on the back of the chair, on the rear back. The third row. Third row. And then he keep calling the name, the boy didn't wake up. He keep calling, the, the boy didn't wake up. And then when they tried to pay me, they said they don't have no money. I am not saying this being kind of a racist. I look at the black people like me. I just, them, I called the, 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 the taxi company. I said, these people didn't pay me. They said for me, call police. I look at it, I, why am I going to call police from them now? And then I leave the... The mother, the mother stepped out and leave and start calling the boy. The boy is still there, sleeping. I said, please, can you get down so I can leave? And then I drove my car. And when she got off from the car, she hit her on the car. He hit on my car and spit all over me. And then walk away. I drove her back. And then I, I, I left. When I leave, if I'm, when I was leaving, Maybe the time he's hitting on me, I don't know if I hit him or not, but I don't have, I can't tell you I didn't hit him. I can't tell you I hit him because the whole thing, it was like, Oh, let's just stop right there. Have you seen the video? No, what I'm saying is 
I can't tell you if I hit him or not because the the thing is, I drove, I was driving back, and then it was a something. Um, when when you're driving on the drive through, one is like a the pavement when you're climbing down, and if I climb down that pavement, we hit the rental the car because the taxi was not owned by me; it was owned by the company. And the only thing that happens to it, you have to pay for it. So, so, so I, let, let's slow down there and, and kind of get to the judge's point here. Um, you said that you backed up and that you were concerned that backing up because the, I, I guess the difference in height between the street and the yeah, driveway yes, would damage your vehicle. Yes. Okay, but you've seen the video in this case, right? Yes. And you, you would, uh, do you recall pulling forward first and then reversing? Uh, yeah, I pulled forward. Okay. Now, did you, uh, you in the video you saw uh, Mr. Clay there. Is that right? You see him on the side of your vehicle, right? Yes. That night, though, did you see him there that night? You remember seeing him on the side of your vehicle that night when you pulled forward? Um, actually, if he when he was on the front, yes. I don't know if I. I don't. I can't really tell you exactly how all those things happen. Okay. Honestly, because this have been long time. I don't oh, well, let me just stop you right there. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Do you need to see the video? Because the video is in the steps. You want to watch is. that with your attorney? I, I think we've seen it enough, Judge. Well, may. I mean, because he, he appears to be saying something that's different from what I the court remembers in the video. I, I don't believe he is, Judge. I think he's trying to tell the court that he that he did pull forward and that then he backed up. And that but no, he he's saying that the complainant's mother spit on him. No, hit no, on no, him. no, 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 he spit on you. Yeah. And hit you. Yes. All right. I is that in the video? You know, it, it didn't go oh, sorry. Sir. Judge, the video is a doorbell cam from across the street that only catches uh, certain things. It doesn't it's it's not the vehicle's video. Uh, although it had had it, the, the video did have a. I'm sorry, the vehicle was equipped with the vehicle with a video, but evidently something the taxi company did, says they can't find it. Judge, um, there's the video isn't um, that the courts that that's in the evidence. Judge, it's just a, a brief few. I think it's about actually maybe 12, 15 seconds of, of, of the activity. It, it's not the entire video. In fact, you don't even see the mother who got out. I think it's a considerable amount of time before that. Um, you don't even see her getting out. I think all you see is is um, uh, Mr. Clay on the side, and then you see Mr. Clay. It looks like he's crouched down or something, standing up. And then at that point, Mr. Hugo is backing up again, and uh, Mr. Clay is walking up to the house. It's just a very few seconds. Okay, a few seconds. Just so. so all right, I you can ask what, more questions. I'm sorry. I said you can ask more questions. Thank you. Dude. Um, so you're not denying that that you may have hit him. Is that right? You don't no, tell the court you don't recall. I don't recall. I do not. Okay. Uh, but either way, as a driver, you understand that you have an obligation to be on the lookout uh, for people on both sides of your vehicle. Is that right? Of course. Okay. And if you did hit him, then you didn't live up to that obligation. Fair to say? Uh, if I hit him, I, I didn't. I didn't do it on purposes. I don't. I don't. I don't mean to hit him. I. Okay. I can't. I don't want to hit nobody. Okay. Okay. Thank. Thank you, Mr. That, that, that's what I wanted to. To, to clarify for the court. Now, if the court uh, is to give you an opportunity on your probation on deferred adjudication of community supervision, are you willing to do whatever the court asks you to do? Yes, sir. Do you think that you can be successful on, on community supervision or probation? 100%. And as far as your criminal history, this is your only felony, is that correct? Yes. And I think the PSI indicates that there were two other cases you had misdemeanors that were uh, either dismissed or rejected some in some way. Is that correct? Yes. And that you don't have any criminal history in Nigeria, do you? No. Um, your work history, uh, the PSI indicates that you were working from 20, 2005 to 2016 for the same company, Baptist Health System. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Were you steadily employed for the, with that company? Yes, I, I, I was, but I'm not working with them. No, no, I understand. Um, and since that time, you, I think you told the court earlier, you've been working two and three jobs at a time. Is that yes. Right? Okay. Um, why are you working two or three jobs at a time? 
Just support my wife to go to nursing school. Okay. And your family, your, your kids? And my children. Okay. And the two of you are actually separated at this point, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, and I think that's indicated in the PSI also. Um, the PSI also indicates that you don't have any drug or alcohol issues. Do you use drugs or drink at all? I don't smoke, I don't drink. And you believe that you can be successful if given an opportunity on community supervision? Yes, sir. Thank you. We pass that witness, Judge. Any questions? Uh, just a couple, Judge. Uh, really briefly, Mr. Umu, would it surprise you that in the PSI you never once mentioned that the complainant struck you? I told, I told the lady. Yeah, have you had a chance to review the PSI? No, I, I told the lady exactly, she asked me. Now, the question is, have you had a chance to review the PSI? Mm. Would, would you like a chance? Just Mr. Lewis reading level looks evidently read at low according to the sorry, PSI. Mr. I'm sorry. I didn't understand you. Judge, Mr. Ugu's reading level is, is rather low according to the pre-sentence report. Right. It's around level one, but I will tell the court that I read him um, that entire document. All right. Do you need your attorney to reread to you that report? She re he read it to me. My question is, do you need him to reread it to you? No, ma'am. All right. And when, when you say his reading level is at a certain point, that's the English language, correct? It didn't specify, Judge. Um, his, his education level is also very low. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, it, it's not as low as his reading level. Um, but it would be, I, I would assume it's English, yes. Okay. All right, then you can ask your questions. The only other thing I'll ask, Judge, uh, would the court be able to play the stips? the disc. Right. I tell you what, this is what I'll do. I am going to let you all sit back so that he can rewatch the video. And it's a video uh, from the vehicle that night. Uh, it's and a video from the doorbell. From the doorbell. It, it, yes. All right. So if you all uh, step back and watch that, and if you will talk to him about his PSI report. Yes. Richard. Okay. I, thank I can you. Do that well, I mean, it didn't work for me, but here's the thing. This is enhanced. And you know what that means? That means that you've stolen before. Mm -hmm. So what is it? A drug problem or you just like to steal? No, it's it used to be a drug problem, but I, I don't do drugs no more. And that's for an offer. And I think it would be in his best interest to do that. So I mean, the judge would maybe even give us give us some time for him to do that. So if you're not compliant, then don't expect me to follow the agreement. you understand? Yes, ma'am. So, all right. And did you have a chance to review everything, Mr. Ugo? Yes, Your Honor. All right, State, you may continue with your questions. So, Mr. Ugo, so you saw the video right during the clinic, is that correct? Yes. And you saw from at least the video that it was a well-lit area, is that correct? Yes. You also saw that you turned right into the driveway, is that correct? Yes. But then once you make contact with the complainant, you reversed, went back to your original position, and then turned left. Is that correct? Yes, I turned because I wanted to, to take off from the same way that I came. Right. But again, what I, my point is, is that you had the ability to turn left from the beginning. Is that correct? No, I can't turn left because I didn't come that way. I know, but what I'm saying is because you're doing a U-turn, start your turn by going right. In the video, you reverse, go back to the original spot, then you turn left to do a U-turn, right? I went, I went in, then I, I went out, back off to turn out, to go the same way. It's okay, sir. The video shows what it shows. Okay. Pass the witness. Any other questions? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. I'll hear argument. Judges say the sound, so. No, I mean, I'm, yeah. yes, thank you. <laughs> Judge, Mr. Ugo is 46 years old. He has no prior felony criminal history and his only misdemeanor history has, has been dismissed. Um, 
we specifically asked in this, uh, when we pled on this particular case, we specifically asked for the inclusion of the word reckless in the, uh, in the indictment that he's, that Mr. Ugu uh, pled no contest to, Judge. And we did that for a specific reason. Uh, Mr. Ugu has testified that he did not see him, uh, Mr. Clay there, and that he did not intentionally hit Mr. Clay. Um, and that is true. Mr. Ugu understands, though, that as a driver of a vehicle, he has an obligation to be under on the lookout for individuals. And, and in this particular case, he understands that he was at, at least reckless in that regard. Uh, he's not trying to... He reported some things, that, well, he testified to some things that happened prior to this video, um, and that he indicated that he told the probation officer that was doing this report. Um, they're not included in there, and I, I don't think Mr. Hugo is looking to in any way um, deny responsibility or shove responsibility onto Mr. Clay for those actions because he knows that that wasn't related to the particular driving facts. Um, you know, it's it's just his, his, his recollection of what happened that night. Um, this video that we see and that's part of the evidence was very challenging to obtain. <laughs> um, and for some reason, the uh, officers that obtained this particular video didn't get any more um, than what they actually obtained. Uh, I, I would imagine that there would have been much more to that particular video or, or subsequent video since um, when everybody agrees that the mother gets out of the, the van, you never see the mother in that video anywhere. Um, so we know that there's just a small snippet of, of, of what happened that night. Um, we did the best we could to get the actual videos from the, the vehicle because taxis have, uh, and this particular taxi did in fact have videos, but that evidently was lost with the uh, taxi company. And uh, being that there's a civil claim pending, um, it's not surprising, Judge. Um, but in, in regards to Mr. Ugo, Judge, he has no prior criminal history. He's, he is an American citizen. He's a naturalized citizen. It appears from all, whatever, every, everything is set out in this report, that he would be a good candidate for probation. He's got a steady work history. He had the same employer from 2005 to 2016. Since that time and up until the time that he was arrested on this case, he was working two and three different jobs. He's been a CNA for years. He is certified as a CNA. Uh, he lost that job when he got indicted on this case. Um, he's been working, um, driving, trying to drive for different companies. Uh, I'm not sure if the court understood what he was talking about yeah. with the railroad, but what happens is that there was a contract with the railroad that he was um, a driver uh, for the, the engineers and such that, that work on the railroad. And, and so that's a specific little unique area that he was working in. Um, so, you know, Judge, he's, he's accepting responsibility. He, he doesn't remember everything that happened and doesn't, um, you know, didn't see it, necessarily see Mr. Clay there, but he's not trying to deny that he was reckless about not looking out for that Mr. Clay. Um, so I think that is clear, Judge. So he, he is accepting responsibility in that sense. Um, the PSI indicates that he's got some health problems, some heart problems, some high blood pressure. He was in the hospital for a couple of weeks. He's, you know, interesting, interestingly, Judge, on the goal um, section of that particular report, indicates that he wants to be a good father. And he wants to be, he wants to learn also um, the ways of this particular country. So he's got... He's got, a, a, he's got aspirations of getting better, Judge, of being a better person. And he didn't, he didn't in that PSI interview, he didn't say, you know, poor me, poor me, you know, I want to be free. He says, I want to be a better father. I want to learn to be a better father. I want to learn uh, the customs and such of this particular country that he's naturalized into and he's made his home. Um, so I think that's important, Judge, and I think that's reflective of the kind of person that Mr. Ugu is. Um, he has family support, his brothers here, his fam his representing his, his family, his, his parents are back in Nigeria. Um, his friend came, took off work today, came to support him. So he does have a, a stable history support system, Judge. We believe, Judge, that he would be a very good candidate for deferred adjudication, and I don't think that um, you'll ever see him before this court again, Judge. Okay. So here are my questions. It appears 
and I want both parties to correct me if I'm wrong. What appears to have happened is you have two complainants. Both of them are intoxicated, according to the police report. There's some issue about the fare to be paid for the service of driving them from one location to the other location. What has been cleared up for the court is that he was waiting for them and the meter was running as he was waiting. It appears that the complainants were upset that the meter is running and they're not in the vehicle. And then they go to the location. There is some discussion about money. The complainants say he wanted his money up front as opposed to when they were dropped to the location. Guess there's some discrepancy in that because he's testifying no. Then the complainant's mother leaves the vehicle goes to the house, and then the second complainant gets hit by the vehicle. The complainants then call the taxi service first, as opposed to calling the police. And then they, then they call the police, but they don't want the sirens or anything else of that nature. Is that the scenario? Am I missing something here? To fill in a couple, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I was going to say, I don't believe so, Judge. All right. A so, little few tidbits, Judge. Um, Mr. Ugo was contacted by the taxi company and told that they, there, was, there was a bag that was left in the, in the back of his cab. He looked in his back of his cab, he found it, he took it to the taxi company. Um, so I don't know if that's what they were calling about or not, but I know that Mr. Ugo from, from the beginning has told me that the taxi company called him. There was a bag. He found it shoved between the, the third row at the back, and he took it back to the taxi company. <laughs> and he told the taxi company what had happened, and he wasn't paid at all. It, it, from my understanding was that when they arrived at the house, they had like $5 to pay for the taxi cab, and Mr. Ugo was didn't accept it. Okay. Anything else, State? I know you're silent, but anything else to the facts that defense counsel has given to the court? I think, Judge, no real facts added as to the bag. I know that the company indicated that they attempted to get the bag back. Uh, they attempted to call the company later. Um, I would say the only facts are is I know it's a little bit of, it's a little bit confusing. My understanding is that one of the family members walked to a gas station to report it while others were at the home reporting it. it that, that's the only other thing that I think that. Oh. We've never heard of it. I'm, I'm not just disputing that. I didn't ever see that in the discovery. Okay. All right. This is what the court is going to do. I know the complainant doesn't want you to have probation. They think you should be in prison. But my job is to make the decisions with the information that I have and to look at it objectively. And sometimes if you're the complainant and involved in a situation, you can't look at it objective. That's why you're not on the jury. What is the issue? It, we covered the issue with regards to restitution. Other than that $2,000, there's no other restitution. I believe it's 4,200. Okay, 4,299 or something. There's three different numbers. Oh, it's $4,299.43. And, yes. and is that the only restitution? Again, the complainant indicated that he had other bills. Uh, I, was, I gave him the opportunity if he wanted me to ask for a restitution hearing. Uh, he said that that number was fine. That was the number that he, he was okay with us going with. All right. All right, the court will sentence you to eight years deferred adjudication. There's to be restitution in the amount of $4,299.43 to Timothy Clay. There's to be no contact with Timothy Clay. And what do you do for a living now? 
the work to do. Let's go here. I just started there. Started. Respite care. No, no, no. He, he started last week with rest care, R E S C A R E. It took me a while to figure it out. But Judge, what it is, it's a, it's a, the company that provides uh, drivers for um, people that live in group homes, uh, private group homes. Um, it, it's like a um, assisted living facility, except it's it's in a private home. And his job is to transport them to doctor's appointments, transport them to to um, grocery store, wherever they need to go. And then he um, stays at the facility and administers. He doesn't administer med medication. He watches the people take the medication that they're supposed to take to make sure that they're taking what they're supposed to take when they're supposed to take it. And then he locks the medicine up. He doesn't hand, he, evidently, I think he hands them the bottle, but they do everything else. And then they hand them back the bottle. He puts Wait, who does he hand the bottle to? The residents there. They're, 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 uh, they're, not, they're assisted yeah. living. They're not, they're not um, incapable. They're just, I guess it's. They're okay. They can, yeah. they, they can the make their top, medicine. Yeah. They cook their food. I would, I would make sure they didn't take over those. If I, I give them the medicine, I will read the bottle. And see the, the doctor tell them take one in the morning. I'll make sure they take one. They didn't take two. And then I'll write it on the paper. Make sure that that is two. And I put it on the counter and lock it up. It's so rest care doesn't have a nurse for this. People are just taking shortcuts all over the place, aren't they? Yes, Judge. Um, Miss Abrams. Should he be working at this rest care, handing out medication? I don't even know if that's legal to do. I, here's the thing. I don't even know if that's legal for him to do that. Yeah, we get trained over there. They train us how to give those things. I'm what, a one-day training? If, yes, and they will tell us if they don't want to take it, just they say no, just get it from them put it on the, the counter and lock it back. And then the medicine and, and their self, they, you can, they can request it. They know the time to take it. They know all their medicine. They uh, so their here, here's the thing. I don't know what's happening at rest care, but I know that shouldn't be happening. And you just told me that his reading level is not such where you had to read the That's PSI it. report for him. Yes. And yet they have him passing out medication. It, it's worse than that, Judge. They're paying nine dollars an hour. Oh, well, rest care. He's not allowed to pass out medications at rest care. He can drive, but he's he's not allowed to pass out medications. I don't pass it. I give it. Oh, you're, you're you, not allowed to give them medication. I can give it to them. They know their medicine, all of them. Yeah. They, they, uh, they are weird. They are weird. No, here's this is what I want you to understand. Yes. I'm not going to allow you to do that. I can't believe rest care is allowing that. Rest care should have somebody there who's actually either a licensed nurse, nurse to do that. Yes. I mean, otherwise, That's the way I know. you know, some people have a need, you know, I'm not going to say this, but I have relatives who are not even out of high school. Do they want to hire them and pay them $9 to look at a bottle of medication and Say, oh, here's your medication, and then I'll lock it up if you don't take it. I don't know what's happening with rest care. I don't know what's happening with people who run home health care providers, I guess. Some people don't care what's happening at places where people are vulnerable. But I'm not going to allow him to do that part of the job. As far as transporting, I don't even know if he should be driving. What's happened with regards to his license with this incident? His license is fine, but it wasn't uh, affected by it. All right. He just can't find work. Well, as a driver. As a driver. Well, I mean, you're going to have to find something else. There's McDonald's, there's Chick fil A, there's Water Whataburger, there's Bill Miller's. You're going to have to work somewhere else. And they'll pay you more than $9 an hour. I think McDonald's is paying more. So you can't work at a home health care provider. I don't allow people who are on probation in my court to work as a home health care pro provider or work with minors. 
All right, eight years deferred adjudication, restitution in the amount of $4,299.43 to Timothy Clay, no contact with Timothy Clay, proof of employment within 30 days, there should be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And probation, his handing out medications to people, I consider that is being a home health care provider and he's not allowed to do it. There should be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. There should be regular UAs, 200 hours of community service restitution. How many children do you have? What are their ages? I have a 23, I have a 12, I have 14, and then I have a, a, a 12, 23, and 16, and then destiny 14. All right. I'm going to ask for 200 hours community service restitution. He's going to do parenting classes. Once he completes that, the restitution hours will be deemed satisfied. He's going to take anger management and defensive driving. <laughs> and there will be a field visit one time per month for three months and then uh, at discretion. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, no. All right, we can go off the record. In this court, communication is key. If there's something that you don't understand, just let us know so that we can communicate appropriately. Do you understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Maybe. Yes.